all the different kinds of headaches and what they really mean you may be familiar with the feeling of a headache. It's as if someone is attacking your head with a blunt hammer, or squeezing your temples in a vice-like grip, or stabbing your head with sharp knives. Most of us have experienced some form of a headache or another at some time. Some have been lucky to get away with an occasional ache while others will suffer from debilitating painful headaches that may last a lifetime. There are 300 types of headaches according to Harvard Medical School's online health review. They could be primary, secondary, chronic, episodic, debilitating, mild, genetic or triggered by a host of external factors. Primary Headaches Migraines and cluster headaches There are headaches that are not a symptom of another underlying reason, they are the medical condition itself. They are painful, disruptive and can often develop into chronic conditions. Migraine and cluster headaches fall into this category. Migraine headaches may be accompanied by light sensitivity, flashing lights and acute pain on one side of the head. Women unfortunately suffer three times more than men do from migraine headaches and can often develop them during menstrual cycles and premenopause. Men on the other hand may suffer more from cluster headaches, recurrent, severe throbbing pain on one side near the eye, often accompanied by a runny eye. These headaches come in clusters and can go into remission after a few days or weeks but may return. Secondary Headaches Secondary headaches can be dealt with easily once you identify the underlying cause, the headache is usually a symptom. Tension headaches the most common and frequent kind are caused by muscle constriction especially around the neck and usually characterized by a vice-like pain on the temples and back of the neck. Ice cream headaches A sudden headache at the first bite of an ice cream are also called trigeminal headaches, when your blood vessels go into a little frozen shock. It isn't a medical emergency, all you have to do is wait for the ice cream to soften a little before biting into it. Exercise headaches usually experienced after a power workout, these are often caused by blood rushing to the head or a lactic acid flush, so never forget to warm up, cool down and rehydrate. Hangover headaches These don't need much explanation, throbbing and painful as they are, alcohol has inflammatory chemicals that trigger this reaction in the body. Drinking less will work and the hangover headache does go away soon enough without medication. Acidity headaches These are usually caused by an acid reflux so fixing your digestion or acid balance in the body will probably cure the headache too. Sinus headaches These can be painful, they are characterized by pain in the cheekbones, forehead and nasal area due to infected sinuses. Once the sinus infection clears, they disappear. Sometimes people report a condition called rebound headaches which come on ironically as a result of taking too many painkillers. Migraines have triggers too, red wine, cheese, message, chocolate to name some, but the headaches don't disappear once the triggers are identified and usually need strong medication to manage them. How to cure a headache? For the prevention of chronic migraine headaches, doctors are now using Botox long associated with cosmetic intervention. The smooth and lined forehead is a bonus, but that awful migraine pain will be kept at bay as Botox is supposed to block pain signals. Consult a doctor to see how this could work for you. Oxygen therapy has been found to work on cluster headaches, while certain antidepressants and a class of drugs called triptans are also on the recommended list for migraine management. Analgesics like ibuprofen and aspirin are over-the-counter medicines that can work as short-term solutions. Tension headaches benefit from a head massage, a foot massage and ice packs on the back of the neck before you pop a pill. Yoga stretches may work on tension headaches too, as the postures help flex stiff muscles. When should a headache be a cause for worry? If a headache comes on very suddenly, is extremely painful and you have no history of debilitating headaches, you need to see a doctor. If a headache is accompanied by a noticeable stiffening of the neck, it could be meningitis and you need emergency care. If a headache comes after an accident or whiplash injury, it could indicate an internal injury. If it is accompanied by sudden weakness and slurred speech, it could be the first sign of a stroke. If you have coasted without headaches and developed them after 50, it is wise to talk to a doctor to screen for any hidden blood clot or injury.